Hello friends, this video on is matter around us part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We'll take some activity here. So we'll take a jar of water, a beaker of water. In this we'll add some salt. We'll some add some more salt. Maybe you can add some 3 or 4 uh, spoon of salt. And try to stir. So when you stir, you'll see that some of the salt is dissolved. But some of the stall salt is still there right so you have more salt and then you still you'll see that some of them is dissolved but some of the salt is still there you must have seen sometimes when you drink milk some some sugar is uh, already there at the bottom of the glass that is not dissolved there is excess sugar now I do one thing now heat this solution if you heat this solution for some time and then try to stir then you'll see that some more salt is dissolved but still some salt is less because you have put excess of salt. So now what we have seen is that here we are talking about solubility, right? So when you have heating it, solubility is, or let's suppose, temperature, if you increase the temperature, my solubility also increase. Solubility is directly proportional to temperature. That is something we have observed. Right? Because so if we so if you see we had more salt, if we stir it, some salt got dissolved in the normal STP. But if we heated it, more salt got salt got dissolved. Right? But after some time, more salt could not be dissolved at that particular temperature. So we are seeing that solubility is dependent on temperature. The second activity is take a fresh bottle of Coca-Cola or any soda open it up when you open it up you see that bubbles come out and these bubbles are nothing but carbon dioxide gas but when it was packed it was not coming out that means something was there and actually we know that these bottles are packed under under high pressure since these bottles are packed under high pressure, the moment you open it up, the pressure is reduced. The pressure is the normal atmospheric pressure and these gas bubbles come out. That means the gas from this soda, the carbon dioxide gas comes out. That means again here also this is a solution because here carbon dioxide is dissolved in this water molecule, right? So it is a solution of carbon dioxide in water. Now we've decreased the pressure, the carbon dioxide came out. So that means the solubility is also dependent on pressure right? and it is directly proportional. The more pressure you have, the more gas particles will dissolve. But again these things we will we'll study later. But this I am trying to relate a relationship between solubility and some factors. Right? So we have seen the solubility is dependent on temperature. We have increased the temperature in this case, the more salt got dissolved. We have decreased the pressure, the carbon dioxide came out from the solution. Okay, next is we'll try to mix oil and water. So if you see in oil and water, we'll try to mix, it will not mix properly. But if you try to mix oil with uh, something else, let's suppose you try to mix oil with sugar, it will mix. But oil and water, it will not mix. That means the solubility is also dependent on the nature of particle. Right, that also determines solubility. Correct? You can try this actually, these activities in the home. So the solubility actually depends on three power, three factors. There, there may be more factors, but we'll study these three factors. The nature of particles, if you try to mix water with salt, it will dissolve easily, easily. But again, the same water with uh, oil, it will not dissolve. That means there is something to do with the nature of particles. Right. Same thing uh, when you try to, I mean, the, that means with these three activity, we concluded that the solubility depends on temperature. We have seen that depends on pressure and also the nature of particles. Okay. So let's define the term solubility. So we have seen that solubility depends on temperature, pressure and the nature of particles. So, and uh, Definition is at any particular temperature and pressure, 
a solution that has dissolved as much solute that it is capable of dissolving then it is called a saturated solution see that is a saturated solution definition but before that let's see the definition of solubility see solubility of a substance is the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in the solvent maximum amount of solute that is called solubility in a glass of water if you can dissolve 5 teaspoon of sugar that is the solubility of that particular glass of water it is the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a specified amount of solvent at a given temperature and pressure why because we have seen that the solubility depends on temperature pressure and structure all these three For example this scene we have seen that in the uh, salt salt and water solution you increase the temperature more salt, get, salt gets dissolved right if you increase it uh, some salt get dissolved so this is the solubility of this particular salt solution at this temperature the moment you increase the temperature the solubility changes if you can see if you stir it now more salt gets dissolved right the solubility is dependent on temperature pressure also we have seen when you open the can the gas come out at this pressure this is at the high pressure here the pressure is more because the can is closed at the high pressure at high pressure the solubility of gas solubility of of carbon dioxide gas in uh, soda is more the moment you open up and you reduce the pressure the solubility of carbon dioxide in soda is less and thus the carbon dioxide comes out in the form of froth we have also seen the solubility, solubility also depends on structure in some case they are not soluble at all in some case they are more soluble okay and uh, a solution is called saturated solution because if it has reached its solubility. See, solubility is what? Solubility substance is nothing but the maximum amount of solute that it can be dissolved. So, in this case, it is a saturated solution. If you add more salt, it won't get dissolved at this particular temperature. Okay. Actually, if you cool it down, if you cool down this solution, if you decrease the temperature, if you cool down, you will see that some salt particles will come back again and that process is called crystallization we will see that if you cool it down some particles will come out because when it decreases the temperature the solubility of this particular solution decrease and some particles that is dissolved comes out we will see that okay here also when you heat this water when you heat this water you see this bubbles because water has oxygen dissolved right when you heat this water solubility of oxygen in this water is I mean, decreased because we are heating the temperature and thus the oxygen comes out you see the bubbles when you heat the water when you boil the water actually okay that is solubility so as I told we will talk about the dissolution and crystallization so when a solid solute is added to the solvent some solutes dissolves and with this the concentration of solution increase right? this process is called dissolution See, solubility and concentration are two different terms. Solubility is the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a particular solvent. That is fixed for a given solvent or given solution. But, but if you talk about the concentration, that is the concent concentration is nothing but the amount of solute present at a given point of time for a given, given solution. For a given solution, you can have different concentration. For example, water and salt there will be only one value of solubility at a given temperature right if you have let's suppose one glass of water so the solubility at room temperature may be three spoon of salt but the concentration will be different if you add two pinch of salt that is the concentration if you add three spoon of salt that is the concentration if you add five spoon of salt that is the concentration the so concentration is nothing but the concentration of solute at a given uh, time but solubility for a given solution is fixed right? at a given temperature and pressure. Hope you understand that. Now, the point I'm trying to say is, see when you add a solid solute to a solvent, some solids get dissolved. And when the solute get dissolved, it increase the concentration of the solution. This process is called dissolution. For example, you take a glass of water in that you add two spoon of salt. 
you are actually increasing the concentration of salt in the water and this process is called dissolution For example this is the dissolution you take some water and add some sugar or salt the concentration of sugar or salt in the water increase this is called dissolution okay and now these particles collide with each other you see the particles are gone now right they got dissolved by, by stirring or heating or just keeping it for some time now these particles inside whatever salt particle is there inside now this collides with each other right they collide with each other also when you decrease the temperature also the solubility of this particular solution decrease and because of that the the salt which you have dissolved excess salt comes out and this process is called crystallization crystallization is a process where the solid particles in the solution collide with with each other and get separated out and this typically happens when you decrease the temperature of the solution right so dissolution is the process of mixing solute to the solvent and crystallization is the process of separating out solute from the solution or solvent so when you add salt let's suppose 5 spoon of sugar to a, to a to a water to a glass of water and you mix it the sugar is dissolved that is called dissolution now you keep this water in refrigerator and you'll see that uh, sugar crystals are deposited right or you can use the centrifugation also there also the sugar particles get deposited somewhere in the in the bottom of the uh, glass this process is called crystallization so crystallization and dissolution are two different processes and they are two opposite processes actually thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again